out the leg mannequin, Prince Iakea's uh, ring entrance garb. Well, he's talking conspiracy, so I guess we might as well just call it Jericho Gate. Well, what we witnessed was just the beginning of Dean Malenko's quest, step number one in Malenko's master payback plan. Well, he's mad now, and Super Cal is going to have to do what he can to stay alive in that ring. But yep. this man Jericho is right beside himself. I, I tell you, regardless of what how angry he is, the threats he makes to J.J. Dillon, the fact is, to become Cruiserweight champ, he must go in the ring against Dean Malenko, and I don't think that's something that he wants to do again. Look at Colo over the top. He almost pinned him. He got a two count to Colo that time. A lot of times there's a running lariat. A lot of times, look at Cologne, showing a lot of firepower here. And he's still got his hat on. Well, Cologne knows that he can open up the eyes of the WCW Executive Committee with a victory over Jericho, and Jericho needs a win to get back oh! in the cruiserweight ranks. What a released German suplex. Surprised he didn't break his neck. Probably wants to. In the middle, the Lions soft that time missed. Enabling Kolo to walk the top. He, oh. tried to, oh, he tried to moonsault of his own and really missed that time. He hit his he hit his upper part of his body before he connected with Jericho. Lion and Tamer. Now, yeah, that's him hooked for the Lion Tamer. Quickly, Super Kolo taps out. The best move he's made all night. And he's not letting go. Jericho will not let go. And finally, being admonished by Mickey J, the referee, Jericho makes the man raise his hand.